Today, we are going to beat the boss event with no monkey knowledge, powers, insta monkeys, or microing. This was pretty difficult, but every monkey knowledge point you have will make this much easier. To start out, we are going to place a 101 tag shooter right in the middle, and this is all we need to save up for Benjamin. We're using Benjamin because we need a ton of cash this run to get through the tier 5 boss. But after we get Benjamin down, we are going to go back to our attack shooter and upgrade it to a 202. Now every dollar matters, so we're going to place down a banana farm, then go back to our attack shooter and get it to a 203. Then we'll go to the banana farm and get it to a 220. Now that our farm is up and running, we're going to place down a 023 dart monkey, upgrade the farm to a 230 banana bank, and then place down a 200 alchemist to buff both the attack shooter and the dart monkey. Next, we're going to upgrade our attack shooter to a 024 and then collect from our bank when it's almost full and upgrade it to a 240 so that we can get the loan ability. If you do have the deposit monkey knowledge, this is where you can get way more money than me and have a much easier time. But right after the bank upgrade, we're going to place down a 300 village. The first boss event is by far the hardest when you have no monkey knowledge, but this strat can still beat it consistently. We're going to collect from our bank and then use the loan ability once this combo gives us enough cash to purchase the tax zone. From here, you'll use Ben's ability on the first wave of ceramics, and if you have enough money, upgrade the village to a 320 so no camo balloons leak. Next, we will place down 5 0 2, 3 banana farms. I chose these guys because they harvest themselves, but you can choose whatever farming method you want. And we will be using the loan ability so we can get them down earlier. Also, I always collected from my bank whenever it was at about 9,500 cash. This way I could start the interest process up earlier for the next cycle. Though this number might change based on how much monkey knowledge you have. After this, we're going to upgrade our alchemist to a 420, our dart monkey to a 024, and our village to a 420. You can do this in whatever order you want, as it doesn't really matter. The next boss is super easy, but we are going to use the loan ability so we can upgrade our dart monkey into a 025 crossbow master. Then we are going to place down two more 023 banana farms. Next we will upgrade three of these farms to 024s and then upgrade our alchemist to a 520 permabrew. Then for round 80 you are going to upgrade the village to a 520 and then you can choose to either go a dart or boomerang paragon. I went for a mix of both so you can choose what direction you want to go. But I went for a 520 Ultra Juggernaut and then two 402 Boomerangs as these really help clean up the balloons that the boss spawns. Then I went back to the farms and got them all to 024s.
So I decided to go with the Boomerang Paragon Monkey. So I upgraded one of the Boomerang Monkeys to a 502 and then proceeded to place down a 052 and a 025 Boomerang Monkey. Now, like I said, you can go either Paragon, but if you do have the monkey knowledge where you can get two crossbow masters, I recommend getting both of them and then going the Dart Monkey Paragon as it'll be a very high level compared to this Boomerang Monkey. For the level 100 boss, you don't need to do anything special, just spam every ability as all of them will help this scenario. And if you want, you can spend some more money upgrading the banana farms. I didn't spend any more money until the Paragon, though I do wish I would have gotten Monkeynomics, but it is not needed. So before level 120, if you still need more cash like I did, you can sell all of the banana farms and the permabrew alchemist to get you enough money for the boomerang paragon. Ideally, we wouldn't sell the alchemist, but since it doesn't buff paragons, it was worth selling. Then on the final boss, I sold the ultra juggernaut and worked back on getting the permabrew elk to buff the rest of the towers. I'm not quite sure if this was needed, but it definitely didn't hurt. As for abilities, I just spammed both of them through the entire boss as neither of them can hurt the run. But that is how you can beat the normal boss event in BTD6 with no monkey knowledge, powers, insta monkeys, or micro ink. And a little bonus for you guys who stayed through all the way to the end, you can get two achievements by doing this.